Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another filler for you. This time it's called Hats. This one's published by Thundergriff Games and it's also distributed in the US by Lucky Duck Games. It plays two to four players. Uh, in a two player game, it's 1v1. In a three player game, everybody for themselves. And in a four player game, it's 2v2 with limited information. Yes, so there's a lot of variety in the way that you can play this game. But at the heart of it, it is a card game. Uh, and it's very uh, kind of tricky the way that you play it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we are excited to discuss it. But uh, before we begin, we would like to kindly please ask that you turn on your Klingon subtitles just in case we make any rules mistakes. And if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are going to get started. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we are all set up for a two-player game of hats. So in this game, it's, it's kind of a... Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, it's Matt, like an Alice in Wonderland theme. I think that I, I think the theme is that you're at the tea party, tea party, the yeah. mad tea party, and you are playing hats to the table, and collecting trying... hats. Yeah. So you can have a nice hat collection. Yes. There you go. You're trying to make a hat collection. Yes. And so the deck is completely comprised of different types of hats. I don't know if you can kind of tell with the artwork because it's so. Uh, different but they're supposed to be hats mm -hmm. and so in a two-player game there are five different colors and each color uh, card is numbered one through six so there are six cards per color and so the way that the game works is we have the table here all set up and it's numbered one through five and each each number has a card assigned to it in higher player counts you actually use the sixth spot but because it's a two-player game we're going to cover that up with our napkin that mm -hmm. has a cookie. And so at the start of the game, each player is going to have a hand of nine cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's just say this is my hand. And so like Naveen mentioned, over the course of the game, we are trying to grow a collection of hats. And at the very end of the game, we want our hat collection to, to be worth more points than our opponent. Yep. And so the way that we do this is, on your turn, you are going to do one of two things. You are going to either exchange a card from your hand with the table or you're just gonna play a card face down as a black hat. So the very back of the cards are also considered a type of hat, mm -hmm. a type of colored hat. So a majority of the time, you're gonna be doing the first option. So let's talk about that. Uh, in order to exchange a card from your hand with one from the table, the card exchange has to either be the same color. So if I wanted to exchange for this pink three, I would have to choose another pink card. And so I would take it put my card on that spot, and this would go face up in front of me as a part of my hat collection for the end of the game. The other option is you can exchange a card from your hand uh, of a different color if the card that you're exchanging with is a higher number than the card that's on the table. So if I wanted to exchange for this blue, I could take my pink six and exchange that because my card was a higher value, even if it's a different color. So that is how exchanging cards works. And so as you can see, this table is going to change a lot over the course of the game. Also, optionally, on your turn at any point, so before or after taking that action, you can discard one card from your hand, face down, in order to draw one from the draw deck. So that is a way of kind of flushing some cards from your hand. You're never going to draw up more cards than you're holding because basically the game is played over a course of eight, eight rounds. rounds. Yeah. So we're going to be playing a card each round. And so after the eighth round, everybody's gonna have one card left over in their hand. So let's actually fast forward to that point. Let's say I have played a bunch of cards. Let's just say it looks something like this at the end of the game, right? So this is fast forward. We've, we've finished the game. I have one card left in my hand. And the last card in your hand is consider your favorite hat. So then we go into end game scoring. And so if you actually take a look at this napkin, this is the end game <laughs> scoreboard. Yes. And so what you're gonna do is you're going to go through all of the cards that are left on the table and the card placements are going to be how many points that suit is worth at the end of the game. So you start with the one. And so this is a pink card because there are two pink cards on the table this is not gonna score. It's only gonna score for the lower amount of points, unfortunately. Yeah, so right so, away, you can just flip this over. Yeah, so all of the pink cards are worth one point. So this is gonna score me two points. The blue cards are worth two points, so that's another two points. So, so far I have one plus one plus two, which is four points. This doesn't score because it was a repeat of this color. All pur purple cards are worth four points. So that's another four points for this. And all green cards are worth five points. That's good for me because I have two green cards. So it'd be 10, plus four is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 
Now, there are no browns on the table, which means this is zero points. Uh, any of the black hats, if I had taken a, a turn previously to just place a hat based on front of me, each of these is worth one point each. And then after you score for all these, you're going to figure out who has, who gets the cookie. Who earns it. Who earns the cookie, because the cookie is worth five points and it goes to the player who has the most number of suits. So that is one of the reasons why you might want to play a black card in front of you because mm -hmm. it gets you another color in your suit arrangement. If there's a tie, then it goes to the player who has um, a lower numbered card. And then after that, you score points for the last card in your hand, which is your favorite hat. And so what you would do is I have this blue three. It wasn't an ideal situation, mm -hmm. but you would look at the suit that you have in front of you and you would add up the sum of the values of those cards and subtract the card in your hand. And that is the number of points that you get. So in this situation, my favorite hat was a blue three. I have just one card, which is a blue four. So it's four minus three. I get one point mm -hmm. extra for my favorite hat. Ideally, if, if I had like this pink one, that would have been nice because it would have been eight minus one, seven points. But I didn't play that example. You well. can go into the negatives here as well. So yes. if in this situation, let's just say, um, yeah, if I had the five, idea. if I had the five left over in my hand and I just have this four, I'd have negative one points for that favorite hat, exactly. which would lose me a point. But that is essentially the whole game. You add up all your values, whoever has the most points wins. Yep. And it's simple in uh, theory, but in execution, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's difficult. So we are going to refresh. We're going to get all shuffled and then we're going to begin. So in a two-player game, we have removed two suits. Uh, in a higher player count, there are other suits that are involved and one more space available. So the highest points you can get per uh, suit is five points. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are all set up. We have dealt nine cards each. And now if you redirect your attention, we have <laughs> five cards in our display. So this goes one, two, three, four, five right now. Yeah, so we have a okay. double double blue. Double blue. But we have to see who goes first. I think in the rule book it says the person who most recently ate a cookie gets to go first. We yeah. haven't had cookies Don't in a very long time. Yeah. So let's just ready? It me, no. You. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> that means I get the very last say on manipulating the board. I'm finished. <laughs> That's it. It's just a rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> That's game. it. Yeah. Yeah, whoever wins, rock, paper, scissors. So put it gonna down. Lose. All right, okay. uh, so that means I go first. Let's see what to do. Okay, I'm actually going to start by flushing one of my cards. So I'm discarding this. Don't like it, huh? It. Yeah, I didn't like it. It was a no-go. I'm going to draw up. Okay. Ooh, I don't know if I like that one <laughs> any more than the previous one. And then I'm going to swap out this purple three for the purple six. They are the same color, so that is why that was legal. And this goes face up. Uh, as a start to my hat collection. Look how cute this is. Apple, uh, an apple with a bite in it. Yeah. All right, now to you, Naveen. Okay, back to me now, huh? Okay, I'm gonna play a brown six to replace this two. So it's a higher number, not the same color. That's that, and then I think I am gonna swap a card. Let's swap this one out. Interesting. Now there's no pink on the board. No so as of board. right now, pink is worth nothing. But that will probably change, probably. knowing Naveen. Okay, I am going to take that six. The brown, huh? Yeah, brown for brown. So I'm gonna take that six, and I am not going to swap out a card. I'm gonna leave it as is. Okay, then I'm going to take, I'm gonna swap this right here, a five green for a six green. Okay. And I will, also leave my hand the way it is. I will not be swapping. No? No. Okay, I am going to take this green as well. Okay. So green for a green, that's why that's legal. And then I am going to, I'm gonna discard this card to draw up one. Oh, wow. Happy? <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't see that coming. Okay, I'm gonna swap blue for blue here. Okay. I'll take that, put that there. And I will, Gosh, this is now where I don't, I will leave my hand. I, I probably should be playing this game here, but <laughs> this. this, okay, I'll leave it as is. The jazz hands game? Jazz hands. <laughs> okay, so back to me. Ooh, I'm stressed out. Okay. Are you stressed out? A little bit. I'm going to discard this card. Okay. Discard this card for that. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, I, <laughs> this game is so hard. Okay, I'm gonna exchange this for this. Mm. So it is a higher number than, it's a four for a three, so that's why this is legal. Uh, I just take that and that's it. You're saying no to brown, huh? I'm saying, I guess so. <laughs> I guess I just made brown I'll or replace zero. green for green. So I'll take this over here. Okay. And I will not switch anything. No? No, I'm gonna keep my hand. All right. I don't uh, know if this is good. I'm exchanging this card for this one. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> I don't know. It, what it, I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> Gosh, we have four turns, Naveen. We do. What's going to happen in these four turns? I don't know. We're halfway there. I'm going to swap this purple five okay. for the green two. Oops. Let's not ruin the rest of the table. And... That's me. Oh my gosh. How could you have so much anxiety I'll with a card game? this one, that purple for purple. Take that. Interesting. And I will, I will leave it like that. I will, I will keep my hand. I'm going to swap. Okay. This. <laughs> I think this. I've done that once, maybe none. I think I have the same starting hand. We'll see. I like things to be constantly in flux. You yeah. Know? Never yeah. know what you're going to get. You're doing some stuff, huh? You're soul searching. Um, I'm soul searching. That's right. Okay, I'm gonna switch out this blue. So it's a five, which is a bigger number than two. So that's why that was legal. Back to you. Okay, I'm gonna take this purple here, put the pink on the board and put this one right over there. All right, back to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna swap this. So same color, brown for brown. Nice. And I am going to stay. Stay. Interesting play, Monique. All right, I'll take this blue one right here. Wow. There. And I will say, this is your last turn. Yeah. Right here. This is my last turn. This is the end. This is the end. I'm going to swap this. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's my game. That's my favorite hat. I'm done. Well, my six blue is going to swap Oh this. my god! And now I have knew it. the most colors. And I have my last card here. This is my Why do you have the most colors? I think. Oh, we both have fives. Yeah. That's right. Well, have you have the one. lower number. Ha. Okay. Oh my god, well, we'll talk about so that annoying. as we score it. Okay, so the it. game is done. Naveen is in good shape <laughs> and you're all smiling. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to get a dry erase uh, pen because we don't have one. Our dry erase is dry. Yeah. BRB. Okay. Uh, dry erase marker acquired via Railroad Inc. Thank you. Yeah. So we're going to flip over this napkin and this is going to be our scoreboard. So I'm just going to give you the cookie now. Okay. So the cookie is supposed to go to the player who has the most uh, variety of hats. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we as, both have as five. You do as well. But since it's a tie, it goes to the player who has the lower, lowest number uh, showing. He has a one. So the cookie goes to you. And so let's... That's right. So you're first player, so M. So I'll be M, you be N. N, yes. <laughs> Naturally. Okay, so we score our ones. The ones are going to be the pinks. So Naveen and I both have one card each. Yep. So that's one point. The two, this is not going to score because it is a repeat of this color. So we're just going to ignore that completely. Six, down. Greens are three points each. Three we both three. have two. So six, so six. six and, oops, let's do that, that. So six and six. Okay. Fours are purple. Naveen has two of them. So it's eight points, eight points for you. I have one, so four points for me. Okay. And this five, you sneaky. I snuck it in there at the end, I have two of them. So that's 10 points for you, I have one. So five points for me. Our browns are a big donut. Mm -hmm. So, And then in a two player game, there's no six points. Uh, nobody played uh, the black hat. No black hats were played. So no points there. Naveen gets five points for that cookie. For the cookie. And then would you like to reveal your favorite hat? My favorite hat is a green one. So I get 10 minus one, so nine points there. Okay. And I'm guessing you have the brown one. I do. Okay. So that's my favorite hat. It's quite a lovely hat with a rooster on <laughs> yeah. top. So I get 11 plus three is 14 minus one is 13. 13? Yep. Oh, that's not gonna be enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some math. Okay, the scores are in and Monique had 29 points to Naveen's 39. <laughs> that cookie. You 
have the most glorious hat collection. Congratulations. Thank you. The cookie is a huge swing there. Instead of you getting it the It wasn't five, just like, the, the cookie. Yep. You had 10 more points than I did. Well, yeah, I, but... I was hoping that my favorite hat would kind of give me a little bit of an edge, but you had... No, but if you think about it, if if you have the cookie, we tie. Yeah, yeah. Because the cookie it's definitely a 10 point swing there. makes a big uh, So a grabbing big this one was, was important for me. Yeah. So mm -hmm. good job. Well played. You are yeah. the winner today. Okay, so we just finished our two-player playthrough of hats. What'd you think? Huh. Hats is so... This is a really kind of an intense card game. Like this is, it's a card game, mm -hmm. but it's so, there's so much strategy to it. Things are constantly in flux. Yeah. So I'm like anxious the whole time. Like what's going to happen? What is Naveen going to play? Yeah. But it's great. I think it's really good. What about you? Yeah, this is my type of filler. Like I really, really enjoy this one a lot. We, uh, f the first time we ever played it was at Essen mm -hmm. on like a long day. It was like the last like thing to just sit down and play. <laughs> And we thought it was just going to be some silly card game. And then we realized how no, much... No, we didn't. We didn't think it was a silly card game. I thought it was going to be a silly card game. So oh, then okay. I sat down and then, you know, when it was taught to us, we were like, I was like, wow, this is a really, really good game, you know? Yeah. I was hangry at the time. <laughs> like, we, it she had was. been hours. We hadn't eaten. And I was like, oh my gosh, this game requires so much of my brain. So I was a little bit lukewarm <laughs> on it the first time we played it. Yeah. But Naveen immediately was like we have to find this game like yeah. this is coming to america just because it's like so hard for us to bring the games in our suitcase right um but after i played it a couple more times wow this game is really good mm -hmm. it's really interesting because in a four player game there's that team dynamic yep. and then in a two player game it's it's really intense so it's really nice the way that the gameplay changes depending on player count yep I mean, going back to that story, Naveen literally hunted this game down I just did. so we can play it on our channel and yeah. show you all this game that he loves so much. Uh, so I guess starting with theme, mm -hmm. the, I think that the components and the theme are, well, the theme is very loose. It's loose, it's but... Very loose. It could be but anything. It's endearing. I personally really like Alice in Wonderland themed anything. Same, yeah. It's like one of my favorite Disney movies of all, or stories, I guess, of all time. So I, I think that I, I really enjoyed the fact that it was set in that like... Magic a very party. specific part of Alice in Wonderland, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The cookie is very cute. Yeah. I really like that the napkin is a scoring, the <laughs> yeah. scoreboard. Um, the art is very abstract. Yeah. The colors are very bold. Uh -huh. So I, I, I'm pretty pleased with the component quality. I, I will say uh, some of the color choices in this game can be a little difficult for those who have some uh, visual issues just because there's an orange, a pink, and a red, and they are all very, That's very true. similar. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect in a two-player game. You just take two of those out, and then it kind of makes it a little bit easier yeah, on the eyes. Yeah, adjusts the color difference for mm -hmm. you. We removed the red and the orange for that reason. Right. Um, I thought there should have been like a yellow or something, a, a different color, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think about player count? Uh, I like it at all player counts. I will say though, at two players, whoever is going second does have a significant advantage. I, I would agree. I almost feel like whoever go, is going first should have like a one or two point just donation at the very beginning of the game. Like you start mm. with a point or two. It's interesting because that second player does have the last say, yeah. which is a big deal in determining what like that, as you can see in our playthrough, yeah. he, he like uh, put in that blue. I was camping on that six. six, on that six blue. And all I needed you to do was not put a six in that last slot to maintain that I couldn't use the, the six blue to block it out. Right. I mean, I probably, I did try to card count and I did notice that there was one six left. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I was like, well, Hopefully that six isn't in his hand and it's yeah. just right there. But I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, it, it came down percentages at the end there, and you had yeah. to you had to make your play. Plus, you were getting all that brown to, mm -hmm. to subtract out to the to your one. I was really so you, trying hard on that. Yeah. So you had to put it out there, but you know. Stuff. In the team game, it's interesting because that optional action where you can flush one card to draw mm -hmm. up a new card, you can actually it changes into um, optionally switching a card with your partner. So, so you can communicate slightly that yeah, way. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. communicate slightly. So I think that, that makes it an interesting dynamic. But yeah, overall? Overall, I really like it. It's, it's one of my favorite fillers. I, yeah. like, like you said, I hunted it down and here we go. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, overall, this is a, this is a really solid uh, filler game. It plays really quickly. There's a lot of thinking. Think like a parade, you know, fillers like that. Parade, mm -hmm. um, Arboretum, that really requires you to think Strategize. ahead strategize ahead and try to figure out what is my end goal yep is my end goal to, to keep this one and really try to go for a high scoring favorite hat what what uh, color do i want to line up at what point by the mm -hmm. end that's what you're constantly trying to figure out the whole game yeah because at the and, very end there 
you could have maybe you know tried to snake the that cookie away by playing a black hat or something you know so there's, there's well i that, did my dynamic. last move was to take that last color take that last color yeah. oh that's right yeah so as you can see there's a yeah. lot there's a you know there's a big big dynamic of you know different strategies that you can kind of figure out but overall fantastic game for all of you who like thinky fillers mm -hmm. yeah 20 minutes done yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's hats that's it well, thank you guys so much for watching the playthrough. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.